Entrepreneur. 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 All right, guys. How are you guys doing? It is the yeah. session of Learnstein. Back at it high. again. I got, I got someone answering. What is an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur. We're talking about entrepreneurship. A person that runs a business. So, and I even have the definition up here. You, some of you may or may not know there's actually a magazine you can buy called Entrepreneur Magazine. Do any of you know that? There's a magazine that you can buy in grocery stores called Entrepreneur Magazine. How many of you have heard of Facebook? <laughs> you all heard of Facebook. I don't, I don't, not, have you, not that you have an account, but have you heard of Facebook before? Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, how many of you have heard of Instagram before? Yes. yes. How many of you have heard of Snapchat before? I got Snapchat. All right. So Entrepreneur Snapchat. Magazine is a magazine that shows uh, on the front cover, they interview, and you start to learn about people who start these businesses. Entrepreneurs. Mr. Phipps and I are also entrepreneurs. We own our own web design business, and Learn Steam is another business that we started. We are also business owners or entrepreneurs. So this is the definition, and at the end of the class, at the end of the class, I'm gonna give you guys a link to my, to my slide deck here, and you can come back and read the definitions and look at stuff later. So, you got it, you got it in your guys' minds that an entrepreneur is a business owner? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this is the exercise that I wanted to have you do tonight. So we're gonna try to find some dry erase markers and do this. I'm gonna try to, okay. I'm gonna try to give you guys like five minutes. The goal was, for us to take everybody at a table, you're gonna answer this question. What does an entrepreneur look like? And you're gonna draw one. You're gonna draw on the walls, you're gonna draw, what does an entrepreneur look like to you? When you think of a business owner or an entrepreneur, what do they look like? Person in. So, I mean, this is, what does an entrepreneur dress like? What do they wear? What are they like? So take a look at the center circle, right? This is called a mind map, where you take an idea and you expand on that idea to get all the ideas out of your mind. You start in the middle with your main idea, and then you draw a line to a circle and say, this is what an entrepreneur is. It's a smart person. And then I'll say, well, how smart are they? How, what do you mean they're smart? So then I draw a line from the smart Learn circle steam out to another circle and say because they went to college. So I want you to start with an idea and then you're gonna expand on that idea. An entrepreneur is tall. So you might say, boom, first circle, they're tall. And then your next circle may be, how tall are they? I want you guys to come up with these ideas. I'm gonna give you five minutes. Each of you draws a different part of the entrepreneur. So, do you have markers? Just three? No, there's three. All right, there's one there. So here's what I want you to do. I'm going to give you one example. Uh, you guys are going to have to find a place on the wall to draw. You're going to draw a circle as big as you want to draw it. And then I want each of you to draw a different part of what an entrepreneur looks like. One person draw leg, hands, hair, hands. Everybody draw what does an entrepreneur look like to you. We'll give you five minutes, and we'll see which one of you is probably right. And then I want you to tell me, okay, they're tall, or they're smart, or they like gravy, whatever, <laughs> or whatever it is about entrepreneurs. So I want a group of you to come together and do it. So maybe each table they collaborate. Yeah. Try to try to maybe two tables or one table. I want to see what which of these tables you guys are on each other. I want. Probably, so. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> all right, you ready, sir? Yeah. I want you all to collaborate. I feel awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel awesome. Say hi, say hi to everybody. Take a, take a look. Hey guys. That's a place. Hey All guys. All right, so let's get this going. How's it going, everybody? It is another session of Learn Steam, and today I got my man Divine. Yeah, hey guys. And right now we are going through a session of what do people, or what do you guys think an entrepreneur is? All right, and let's see what yeah, they're what do drawing. Think? What do you think? Well, tell tell everybody what you think entrepreneurship is, Divine. Right? Um, the way you, the way you run magazine. On a magazine? Yeah. yeah. Entrepreneur on a magazine. Then you're famous too. Yeah. All right, let's go and follow. Let's see what they're drawing on that wall right now. They got seven minutes and fifty-six, whatever. Uh, that they're saying. Seven minutes. They got seven, seven minutes. In, seven yeah, minutes. Yeah. Fifty. Oh, so we got some drawing on that area. We got drawing all over there. Jumanji bat. <laughs> <laughs> might be a little bit too loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready to <mic? laughs> All right. So let me hold the mic. Yeah. We're gonna hold it from this distance so we don't blow their ears out. You hear that? <laughs> Yeah, I'm All right, so I'm we are live from Learn Steam, uh, 700 Van Ness, Fresno, California. And we are talking about entrepreneurship today. Yeah. And what an entrepreneur is, is? Is to be famous or, or something else. I'm sorry, man. You're, no, you're fine. Right. You're fine. Right. Hi, all right? So what I think an entrepreneur is, he's a, he's he's the real life hero. What he does is he creates jobs and opportunities to help out everyone else. It's a job. It's, it creates a job. Do you think, what do you think this music's from? Uh, no, I don't know. It's from Casualty. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go and look around the room real quick. Let it focus. Yeah, let it focus. Let it focus, guys. Uh oh, it is still blurry. There we go. Refocus. Oh, that was awesome. You do it in your in your computer. And then we got the kids over here. We got one going. On. Oh, you erased it. Okay, and then we have on this side over here. These young ladies are. They're drawing what they think an entrepreneur is. And over here, oh, look at that. We have also these young ladies over here. Oh, hey, Mr. T. Very good. And these guys over here, you got these guys. You forgot these guys. So I'm hoping this exercise gets them all to get to know each other better. That's also part of this whole thing. <laughs> They're like, and, and, and those guys, those guys, those, those guys right there. Oh yeah, look at it. They drew a pretty big web over there, huh? Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't move over there yet. We haven't gone wireless, but we will get there soon. You know how to do both, right? Yes, all right. So let's go back to the main screen. You ready? Yeah. You ready, Mr. Divine? Go ahead and hold on to the mic. Yep. And, the, and there they go. Like, you know how, yep, there, there's both of them, guys. And I'm about to show you guys how to do this. And they know how to do it. And, and, Divine, why don't you tell everybody what we're gonna learn today? We're gonna we're gonna do electronics. The we're gonna build electronics. Yeah. So today I'm gonna teach you guys how to build a computer. A computer. Yes. Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Go with, ahead and. Yes. With megabytes. Yeah. With yeah. With megabytes. You know. You remember Meng? <laughs> and Meng. And Meng. You know those megabytes, you know what I said uh, on that music video? Yeah. Yeah. I'll sh they'll show you what. Like, they will show you how to make, how, how a robot makes it. Here's the inside of a computer right now, right? So we're going to show you guys. They'll show you how to make that. 
can you go to can you go to main uh, main camera t I mean the the top right one right there the main screen well yeah go ahead and go to the main screen all right so we're gonna take this apart we're gonna take this apart and rebuild it again that's gonna be a lot, right. lot of work the inside of a computer okay well our well, well. Have you ever built a computer before, Divine? No. Do you, do you know anything any, anything that you see in here? Anything here looks familiar? I see uh, I see uh, th this stuff. And I see um, the megabytes from the Matrix. If y'all okay. if y'all see that. All right, Divine. I'm gonna go put this back. Why don't you tell them something about what you're doing over the summer, okay? Yeah. Go to the main main camera. Look directly at the camera and let them know what you're doing this summer. Oh, Josh, you saw you saw the music videos that I made. Which one? You saw music videos that I made. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, guys, uh, so, so, um, what I'm doing for this summer is, uh, uh international world, America, um, uh, I don't know, but, whatever city you live in, um, for this summer, I'm, uh, I'm just, um, uh, I'm just staying, uh, in Fresno, I think, but I'm thinking I'm going to, I think I'm going to San Diego, but, it's, it's kind of cool, but, if you want to know, no, but yesterday was my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy late birthday. I know what you guys are thinking. Happy birthday. Um, yesterday, yes, yesterday was my birthday. And um, so, um, do you think? What do you think I'm gonna do? Hmm. You still haven't finished there, right? I know what you think. I know what you're thinking. Oh man. <laughs> Don't go, Devin, just make it. Yeah. I know. I know. Woo! Yeah. I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> yeah, your dad tried to hide it. Yes, <laughs> they, they know how to do this. And, and then there, there, there he goes. There he goes. Am I pointing in the right place? Yeah, there he goes. Yeah. Divine, what are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about what I'm doing the summer. What I, I talked about how, how I'm doing the summer but in the, uh, when you came over. Before you, before you came over here. Okay. So, yeah. what have you been doing this summer? I've been, I've been, I've been the summer bridge going to school. If you guys know what summer bridge is, um, it's like, it's like high school or probably. It's like high school probably. And, and like the first time, if you're like a freshman, you know. If you go to high school for a freshman, that's what they call summer bridge. If you're if you're in high school, oh, like you're, you're, you're going to summer bridge right now? No, not now. Oh. Already, 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 already. It was my last day yesterday. Oh, okay. But but now, but for my for, for my summer now, it's just really like just chill at home, which it kind of kind of boring to you guys. If you guys are on vacation out there, have fun, because I think I'm having fun until the end of the July because I'm, I have to go to San Diego. I'm not moving. I'm staying in Sydney. Five, four, Three, two, two, one. I told you. What did I tell you? You're gonna, you're gonna blow their ears out, man. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to seeing what everyone is doing. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to see some of your guys' stuff. That one's best. <laughs> 
first thing that I'm looking for when I when I have a class do this exercise. The first thing I look for when a class does this exercise. How many of you thought of an entrepreneur or drew an entrepreneur? That's a woman. So one 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 woman drew a woman. See? Draw a woman. So you drew a woman business owner. I have a table full of ladies over here. <laughs> I got a table full of ladies. And you drew that an entrepreneur is a man. An entrepreneur can be you. Alright? An entrepreneur can be anyone. That's, that's an entrepreneur too. But I always find it interesting when the ladies will sometimes draw a guy or a man as an entrepreneur. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> entrepreneur. Anyone could be an entrepreneur. So, but take a look back here. Take a look back here with these guys. You should look at others. They said an entrepreneur is me. How? How? Good question. Why did they say that? Who is me? So, that's because these two gentlemen actually go to the Patino High School of Entrepreneurship. They are actually young business owners. So they are entrepreneurs. Uh, so when they introduced themselves, uh, Zach told you that he goes to the Patino School of Entrepreneurship. He goes to a high school that teaches you how to own your own, how to run and create and own your own business. It's the only school of its kind in America, guys. Yeah, first of its kind. Yeah. And uh, from my side, we on my company we're a gaming cafe. We already hold three tournaments and we're making profit already. Whoa. So yeah, you. So Zach's company is a is a gaming cafe that they're going to try to bring to downtown Fresno, but they're already holding gaming events. Tell us about your next gaming event and where is it going to be? Our next gaming event is on July the twenty second, a Saturday, from eleven to five. It's going to be here at Bitwise, uh, next to room three. So it's going to be here at Bit room four. It's going to be here a bit wise, and the tournament is pretty simple. It's a Smash Brothers and League of Legends. Yes. Only a $10 fee, unless you sign up on our social media on Facebook for $5. And if you don't want to pay to put, enter the tournament to win the grand prize of $20 in gift cards, we have a free general mission. So if you just want to hang out, play some games, eat some good food, I would strongly recommend you come out. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, his, his company is actually doing things, and... Um, you didn't tell about winning an award. Huh? Oh, the grand prizes are... No, no, about you guys winning. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got invested a couple months ago in May by investors. Roughly $1,800 uh, to invest into our company. So, first step for us, bringing funds back to Fresno through the form of Gaming Cafe. Nice, nice. So, uh, so July 22nd, right here at Bitwise, do you guys have a flyer up in the hall? We don't have a flyer, okay. but I'll put a link up for a flyer or whoever needs a flyer. I can send it to you through my phone. Too. Okay. So you guys can actually come to this tournament for free and play games and you know do bring your own stuff or whatever. But if you want to compete, you're only paying if you want to compete in the tournament. But you can actually come for free. All right. So just kind of keep that in mind. So these two are actually entrepreneurs. Uh, Matthew back there actually goes to. Talking to me about something, but he goes to Patino High School of Entrepreneurship. He actually has a business. And is there anybody else also there? All right, so that's it. All right, so everything that you guys drew, uh, what an entrepreneur is, every single one of your drawings is right. So I'm gonna go around the room and have you guys tell me about your entrepreneur. Just tell me three things about your entrepreneur. What did you guys draw on the wall back here, this table? Oh. Uh, what do you All right, let's listen All up, right. everybody. Hold on. Let's listen up. Everybody, give him a moment. And Aaron, Aaron's gonna grab a picture of him. You guys wrote that. You guys did it. You guys did it. Go ahead, stand up. No, no. So Devin and Aaron did it. What? No. Tell me, tell me three things that you wrote down. Okay. What is an entrepreneur? Oh, uh, why? Okay. Okay. 
They're, they're tall. tall. All right. Wise and tall. And what about you? Your name, Mr. T. And me. So me. Wise, tall, and me, which I'm not tall, so. <laughs> That's all right. Good, good luck, guys. All right. All right. Now, who did the one in the corner back there with hearts on it? Who did an entrepreneur with hearts? All right. Tell me three things that you wrote down about an entrepreneur. Um, good at science and math. So he's like a, a technology hacker space business owner. <laughs> he wears his tux a lot. Okay, where's the tuxedo a lot? And he there. is five foot two. Five foot two. Like you. All right, this table. Uh, this table, what is an entrepreneur? Give me three things that you wrote down. Me? Them? Oh, all right. Three things um, when it's an entrepreneur. Someone who has an idea and run with it and start that own business by themselves. Okay. And someone, someone who works hard and somebody, somebody who is the CEO of that business, who, just, who does everything and makes all the appointments, like pretty much the president of, the, of that business. And I, if, if you guys want to know what, what I do, I do Zach Zuckerberg in my style, because he's the CEO of Facebook. And, you What's know, his name again? Zach Zuckerberg. Zach Zuckerberg. You guys hear that? Mark yes. Zuckerberg. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it's actually Mark. It's Mark. actually Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where that came from. Right. I don't know where that came from. But yeah. That's good. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. We got one right here. So, tell us about, well, you didn't write anything, but what are, what are three things about your entrepreneur, your business owner? Um, oh, my company. First, he has to be smart. He has smart? to go to college first. College? And, um... He got to know a lot about math, science. Math and science. That's it? Yeah, and it didn't come out very well. It looks great. Everybody give it a round. So we're not, we're not showing your artist's artistry tonight. We're just showing, get these ideas out of your head really, really quickly. This one, let's go. What do you have? Tell me three things about your entrepreneur or um, business owner. Well, one thing that she went to college or university for over four years. Okay. Um, she is married, and she has a lot of money for the for opening the business, and she probably has kids. Awesome. Yeah. All right, excellent. Wow. That's, uh, that's a lot of details about that entrepreneur. All right, <laughs> this table back here. Tell us about your entrepreneur thing. Oh. Yeah, your mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think he was drawing his Why did we erase that? So these three guys back here shaved his mustache. So tell us three things about your entrepreneur. Uh, Let's say it one more time a little louder. Someone that communicates with confidence. Alright, so someone who's really confident. Okay. Or someone who is rich and of course when he came a businessman, he came a man always wearing a tuxedo. Okay. And a briefcase. And a briefcase. And he's old. And he's old. All right. And he's old. And he's old. All right. <laughs> and, all right. I gotta wait a long time. All right. And my uh, my new team here. Tell us three things about your entrepreneur that you put up there. Okay. Okay. So um, they're mostly like.
they always start at some certain financial level, and then most entrepreneurs take big risks and they'll start losing their money, but it's for a good cause. So they'll they'll eventually get back and then they'll start growing. Excellent. So very very good. That's a fantastic so analogy. Of that. One of one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about an entrepreneur that you, none of you put up there because most people don't think about it until they actually start a business. Most entrepreneurs, not all of them, are failures. Most entrepreneurs are failures. <laughs> 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 Most business owners are failures. But what makes a, a successful business owner, one of the things that makes a successful business owner is even though you fail, you can get back up and try and try again. Your idea may fail, your sales may fail. So how do you reinvent yourself or your idea so that you can come up with something else to keep your business going, growing, or start a new business? Entrepreneurs are also failures. But it's how you handle your failure and how, how, failure and how you bounce back. So I want you guys to remember that. That's part of being an entrepreneur. You have an idea and things just don't go right and it starts to fail. That's normal. Sometimes you just have to switch things up. Um, I'll just say, like, I'm giving a little bit of advice. Like, um, if you try to make a business and you fail, you probably, like, why, um, like, if, if you probably, um, like, if you don't have enough money, you know, like, to get the license and everything, but the job you want to have, um, and the business you want to own, probably have a job while you're studying so that, like, you can have the money you need to like, you know, buy the place that you want your business to be in and like buy all the supplies you need. <laughs> hey, that's a real story. Yeah. <laughs> trying to start and then if you fail you maybe you should just give up. I thought you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad you didn't say that. That was very good. That's exactly right. There's a lot of people who so an entrepreneur is not always rich. Sometimes they're not rich at all. Sometimes being an entrepreneur is something you do all day long. It's your full time job. Sometimes being an entrepreneur is just this little thing you do on the side. There's a woman uh, who owned a restaurant here called Lucy's Lair. It's an Ethiopian restaurant. But she was also a doctor. So she had two things. She worked as a doctor. She owned her own restaurant. You can also be a part-time entrepreneur. You don't have to own this big thing as long as you're doing something. Two things as an entrepreneur. Solving some problem. Some problem. Whether it's a problem that you have, that other people have, or you're doing something that you love. Those are the things, those are the keys. Solving a problem, which is usually giving back in some kind of way, or doing something that you really love, especially if you're good at it. So what you said was a lot of good advice. That was pretty incredible. So a lot of what you guys have up here are some really, really great ideas about being an entrepreneur. And that's also what the E in Learn Steam is all about. So let me tell you something, just really quickly. Being an entrepreneur means getting paid and a little bit more than that. So here's your lemonade stand right here. Show you guys how to make lemonade. And um, and I, I was really impressed with you saying that sometimes you need to get a business license. Because that's also true. All right. Uh, if there's something that you really like to do and you're good at it, especially if people are asking you for it, sell it. More people may want to buy it. That's a really, really good thing to do. Can anyone, have any of you heard of these two words before? An invoice or an estimate? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. No? Every day. Yeah. Yeah, so what is a, what is an invoice? It's like a receipt. Uh, it's a, uh, <laughs> no. It's a receipt for your customer. What's an invoice? Oh, no, here's what it says. Okay, what's the invoice? All right, what is an estimate?
grade are you in again? Six. All right. <laughs> That's pretty, stop lying. All right. So very. That's exactly right. So have you? Have any of you ever heard of uh, estimation? Some people say guesstimation. Someone wants to buy something from you, or someone wants to have you do some work for them, like a painting. You don't know how long it's going to take, so you have to guess. You give them your best estimate. Estimate is a guess. Or a guesstimate. So there is a document that just, you guys wrote all over it, uh, which is called an estimate, where you're giving someone your best guess on how long it's going to take you to do a job, or how much you're going to charge them. So you might want to draw something for someone. You say, oh, it'll probably take you two hours. But instead, it took you six hours. So the estimate was for two. But it actually, in reality, took you six hours. So you will charge them more money. What I'm going to do is give you guys these two documents that you see. All of you are going to have access to those documents where you can download them. And where it says my name here, you can put your name your phone number or your email or your parents phone number or email if you have things like drawings that you want to sell origami that you want to sell you could actually have a template where you can do your estimating from giving someone a guess now an invoice is a bill it's when you do something for somebody like you actually do a painting you do a drawing or you make them a paper airplane and now you're giving them the bill or the invoice. The invoice tells them how much they owe you. When you give that to them, they gotta pay. An estimate is just a guess. At the very bottom of the estimate, usually you get someone's signature saying, okay, I agree to this pricing, and I'll pay you when the job is done. I was waiting to see if any of you would actually read the definitions on the wall. <laughs> But nobody actually read the definitions on the wall. So uh, that's what an invoice versus an estimate is. I have a couple of entrepreneur, young entrepreneurs in the room who called me up and they were like, hey, Mr. T, I have a client and I want to know how I should build them and how I should charge them. This is one of the reasons we're talking about this topic tonight because I realize that some of you have some skills that you can use to make money right now, including selling lemonade. So, let me do this, and then I'm, and then I'm, oh yeah, yeah, go for it. With how Mr. T talked about giving estimates and invoices for things that you can sell, so like, like a, a drawing or a picture or, or some, some, some object that you can sell, but people also sell services, so like you mentioned earlier too, if you, if you rap or if you sing, um, you, can, you can also sell your services that you can do, if you're good at painting nails, you know, some people love to paint nails, and, and they can do all kinds of different things on that, and you can sell those services, you don't think of them as much, they're more like a hobby to you, but they're a service for somebody, and somebody else is willing to pay for that, so I just want to add on services, as well as goods. I agree, you know, so, uh, services will be cutting grass, yeah. cutting hair, so you might not actually be giving something to someone, but you're putting in some hard work. You're putting in hard work, and that hard work is a service. You may be cleaning someone's house, or cleaning is a service. So think about that as or cleaning a business, taking out the trash. You know, those are those are services that you can provide. So thank you very much. Really appreciate it. So I'm going to give you guys um, th these these two documents. I'm going to put a link to them in Schoology, and you can actually download them. Next mentorship, I'm going to talk to you guys about signing up for FreeCodeCamp.com. Today we were going to talk about some of the skills that we went over today. We'll skip that for now. All right. Now everyone, open your laptops. One moment. <laughs> One moment before you guys do that. Oh. I want you guys all to say hi to everybody on Facebook. Hey. 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 And YouTube. If you go to Learn Steam on Facebook, we're, we're broadcasting live <laughs> on 
Facebook right now. Thing, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm so so for so your friends and family, if they're actually going to Learn Stream's Facebook page, we're broadcasting live on Facebook right now. So, uh, you better be good. You better be good. All right. So everyone, uh, I want you to go to this website. I want you to go to this website. Yeah. So we're back. You gonna yeah. say anything, or you just gonna? Oh, go oh, we're back. Uh, we're back. Yeah. So, and what did you learn so far about entrepreneurship? Oh, we we learned about estimating and um. Invoice. 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 Um. So, what kind of talents do you have, Divine, that you can probably make a, a service or a product for someone? What you kind of what? What kind of talents do you have? Of what? That you can turn into a service or a product. I don't know. Yeah, you do. I don't know that that can be You said you like to act, right? Yeah. So, you can be in a commercial to represent a product, right? Yeah. So, that's one. Can you think of another one? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How about entertainment? You, do you feel like you can entertain people? Yeah. Make people laugh? Yeah. You know, that's a service too. I'm going to come around yeah. and make sure it's working. Oh, They're going to hear that. They're going to hear that. I need that. to come around and make sure it's working. <laughs> so hold on to that. Is that getting too heavy for you? See, I forgot the mic stand. Now you yeah. have to hold it. It's heavy. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So Keep on going too close. So if it's loud for you in here, it's going to be loud for them in there, okay? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's start a conversation. You ready? Yeah. All right. So, so far this year, did you get to see the tiny arcade? You missed out, huh? I already seen the tiny arcade. Thing. Did you? Did you see it? Can yeah. we go? Let's show them, right? I'm yeah, gonna, we're yeah gonna, we'll show you guys. We're going to pull up the, the Learn Steam Flicker, okay? All right. Uh, so, Divine, you yeah. always come up here to talk. Can you explain to why you want to talk on, on this podcast? Uh, what, no, I... what, what draws your attention here? I don't know. Yes, you do. But I like I like being here because uh, there you go. because I I like the uh, I like the pizza I like the uh, the computers. Computers. Yeah. I like how I teach you guys how to how to make computers, and you know. <laughs> That's it. Right. So you know I'm gonna I'm gonna show that in a bit. I'm gonna show everybody how to assemble in a computer real quick. All right. Not fully, but then I'm gonna show you the main compartments and then. It's very easy. It looks hard, but it's very easy. But last time, we had a very talented young lady. Look yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, did we, you see that? Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. So we weren't streaming live last time. And I was like, and, and I was all like, and I was like, hey, it's Kim Possible. It is Kim Possible. And she. And I know who he is. I know who she is. What she did was she drew, what's her name again, Kid Possible? I, I, I don't know her, the cartoon name. What's is Kid, Kid Possible, Kid Possible? Yeah, Kim Possible. Kim Possible. So she drew it. It's a show. She drew it on paper first. And what she did next was turn that drawing into a vector. And as you can see, that's her final result. Looks like the real thing, doesn't it? Yeah. It was incredible. As you can see, she had multiple layers. Upper lip, right shoe, belt yeah, line, line, groove glove, li glove, glove line, upper lip. Look at that! That's just incredible. It looks real. I I I can't tell the difference. It looks like the cartoons. There's the original drawing. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the final one. So she turned it into a vector. Yeah, That's now let's see the tiny arcade. Yeah. All right, let's go and see the tiny arcade. That I was using, remember? And I used it in my music video. You did. You did. First it was like, and then it shows like a tiny arcade, quick clip, right? And I'm trying to build it, I think. Oh yeah, that's that's from YouTube channel how you make how you yeah. get it famous, right? So how do you get it? So last time, tell them. Yes, Ooh, I was I, showing them how, 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 to, how, how to get um, YouTube uh, money. 
and, a, and a followers to, to get famous probably. And I want to be like that too, too. And because uh, I want to be, I want to, I want to become an actor or celebrity. Any of you men or woman doesn't want to become like, want to become like that. Yeah or no? So. Oh. That's the heart, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Your turn to come speak? Yeah, I speak. Okay. We're live, Lurin's yeah. team. Yeah. We're live, Lurin's team, man. Uh, oh, is there people on there? Is people on there? Not, uh, is there people on watching it? Go ahead, hold the mic. Oh, like Keep it about that distance. You're good. We're live, Lurin's team. You know, one of the board of advisors, board of advisors having a good time, man. The, yeah, tell them what we're learning today. Looking nice, yeah. we're learning about a little game design um, down here in Mugen. And then we got my brother teaching. You know, we got this nice young man right here. Yeah, my name is Devon. You know, Devon, making it sure y'all see everything. Man, come and join us next, fr next third, fourth Friday. Have fun. All right. How you doing man? That was Ty, one of our original four members who came in. Well, we only had four people, Divine, right? Yeah. Hello! Oh, hey. It's your turn. We're in Arizona. Yeah? Yeah, that's where we have practice. That's like. Oh my god! Oh, can you get some? Go ahead and say hi. Hi! What's your name? Introduce yourself. Keep the mic right there. Okay. Okay. My name is Emily. My age is. Nine. <laughs> oh my god, I myself, oh my god, it's so loud. Jeez, this, this mic is heavy. Hello! <laughs> Tell them what your favorite things to do are. Um, my favorite thing to do in art? Um, my favorite thing to do in art is with technology, probably 3D printing, but with just regular art, uh, clay. What? We have someone who wants to say hi too. So let's let's Hi. close the cameras. Let's wave hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Hola, Paula. Ya vi que estás ahí viéndonos. She has friends watching. Okay. She has friends watching on Facebook Live. Hi. Oh. Is it my mom? Yes, we have. Hi, Martin. Say hi, mom. 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 <laughs> Um, but my favorite thing to art with like paint and crayons and stuff and clay um, is clay modeling because it's super cool, it's like 3D and it's real cool. I really like it. That's my favorite thing to do in art without electronics. Where is the camera? There is the camera. The camera. I had it. I don't think I know the camera. I just do it at the screen. It's awesome. Uh, you ever heard yourself on the microphone before? I never got. I never. Time? I never been on air. Did, did you want to try? Alright, Divine. We're gonna share the. We're gonna share the spotlight. Okay. Alright. I want you to. We're gonna. We're gonna have them sit right here. Okay. So we're gonna have you stand up. We're gonna trade spots. Okay. So uh, I take a break. Yeah, take a break. Yep. So we're gonna share the spot. All right, young lady. I want you to come sit down on the chair. Do I talk? Do I All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself. What's your name, age, and what school you go to, okay? Um, my name is Tamara Franco. I go to Yokomi. I'm in sixth grade, and I'm 10 years old. After, I'm going to throw you out on So why did you come today? Um, my mom, she told me about this, and I wanted to come. Yeah? Are you having fun so far? Yeah. So, I, I know, man. So what you said tonight was pretty incredible. So who's teaching you all? Um, I'll see everybody here. Yeah. <laughs> so do you want to be an entrepreneur yourself later on? Um, probably. Yeah? What are your favorite things to do right now? Um, I like doing hair and I like singing. Hair and singing, huh? <laughs> so? What kind of songs do you like right now? Um, I like Ariana Grande songs. <laughs> Ariana Grande. Uh, what's your favorite song from Ariana Grande? Um, probably One Last Time. One Last Time? Yeah. So, how about sports? Are you doing any sports right now too? Or? Yeah, um, 
I just finished swimming classes and I'm doing soccer. Oh yeah, soccer too, swimming. Really? Look at you, you're doing a little bit of everything, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, technology-wise, what kind of technology do you like? Um, you like tablets. I like tablets, but I prefer like computers. Computers, yeah. Is it funner to sit in front of a screen like this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so. So, tell everybody one th why they should come and hang out with us. Um, everybody, um, you you guys should come because like you learn a lot of things, how to start your business, and um, you learn from a lot of people here. Like they tell you your experience and what school they go to and everything, and it's fun. Awesome! Thank you to have you here. Thank you so much. You're gonna come back next time, yeah? All right. Okay. Do you have anything else to say? Do you still want to say some stuff? Um, we have all night. <laughs> yeah. no? Okay, well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Say hi and goodbye to everybody. Hi. All right, it was a pleasure. Okay, we are going to take a quick break. Restroom break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Face. I am 17 years old and I love to program. I started programming last year when I was a junior and um, I was in web design in an HTML page and I was just like, oh my god. At the beginning, CART had gave us free laptops just for us to use that year. I knew they would take it away at the end of the year and I was like, I really want to keep doing this. And I was involved in this mentorship called Learn Steam. You know, you can't do anything if you don't have a laptop. So I started to sell like snacks, like anything I could get at Food Max or whatever. Students would come up to me like, oh, you got snacks, you got snacks. And it was just like, ooh, calm down. And like the bag would be empty and then like more kids would come up to me and they'd be like, I'm sorry, I gotta go refill. <laughs> so pretty much to, I think I sold for like three, four months and I got like 300, about 300 or more, I'm not sure. My mom said she would help me pay for like the protection and whatever. So we went there and um, the first laptop I got, it was just a toy. It touch screen and it messed up and I was like, oh, I just wasted that $300 for this. But um, we called them and they said, oh, you have um, a month to come and return it. And I was so happy, I was like, thank God. I was like, thank God. And so we went back and I got this laptop, my favorite laptop. <laughs> and then summer came and Mr. T came up and was like, are you gonna do this, um, it was called the Hackathon, the Fresno Hackathon. And I, um, I was like, I don't think I can do it, Mr. T. I'm like, I just started this for like a, a year. He's like, I know you can do it. You know you can do it. I'm like, Mr. T, uh, okay, <laughs> I'll trust you. So um, at the time, our car had broke down, so I didn't know how I was going to get up there. I was like, oh, I really want to go up there. I think the competition started at 8, so I got up really early, and I caught the bus all the way down to um, Patino High. And then when I got up there, I didn't know you had to be in groups. And I was all by myself. I was like, oh God, what am I gonna do? I was like, all these kids, they probably already know what to do. And I was like, you know what? I'll just go to the beginners or something and just hope I win something. But um, Mr. T was like, no, you gotta go to the event. You gotta go to the event. And then I did, and I was still by myself. But the principal, he put me with the group. It was a really great group. They just, they invited me in. They were so nice to me. And we just, we all got along. I think we had like five hours to program. And I did the animation, and I think Alex, he did most of the bootstrap. I can't remember the other's names, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was so long ago, but we did that. And we thought, we were like, you know what, let's just get second place. You know, we're, we're okay. We saw the other groups and we're like, we got this, you know, second place, let's go, let's go. And we went up there. And the girl, she was in our group, she gave this really great speech and then we showed them all of the designs and stuff. It was really nice. 
when the thing came for them to announce it, we all held each other's hands. Like, come on, and we just that. It was really fun. And then they announced that we had won first place for our band. We were so happy. We just jumped up. I didn't even really expect it. And then Mr. T, he turned around and said, I told you you could do it. <laughs> I would tell people struggling not to give up because I've had a lot of hard comes, but I did not let that stop me. I've just, I just kept it going. And I kept a smile on my face. <laughs> We need to learn about learning. <laughs> it's a great program. They really helped me. They helped me with my homework. They helped me learn a program. I mean, they helped me learn about real life. It's a really good, it's a really good mentorship. All right, and we are back. A little bit of the wood. I'm gonna show you guys the wood. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you the young individual you guys just seen right now. And here we go. Welcome, Faith. So let's go ahead and have you introduce yourself. I'm Faith Boo. I like to code, and I'm going to UC Merced in the fall. UC Merced. Tell us what you're going to be studying. Computer Science and Engineering. No way, man. Computer Science and Engineering. Tell us how you got into Computer Science and Engineering. Well, in the video, it uh, showed how I went to the CART class and Mr. T taught us coding. And then, that's, yeah, that's where I started. Yeah. So, what a lot of people don't know is Faith was one of the original four students that came here that we had started this, uh, the reason why we started this uh, mentorship is we wanted to give back to individuals like Faith. And how long has it been? It's been over almost two years now, close to almost three. Yeah, it started, I think we started in 2015. 2015. 2015. Tell us about the beginning. How many kids were in the room? Uh, four in a very small room. What were you guys learning at that time? We were learning uh, HTML, CSS at that time, I think. And it, well, we had Climate, Mr. T, and you know, the Fantastic Four all in a small room, cramped, a whole bunch of wires going everywhere. <laughs> Humble beginnings, right? Humble beginnings. Now, uh, I know I remember walking in I'm like what's going on here what are you guys doing I think I walked in probably like six months in huh six months after you guys became you guys started I'm like this is awesome I, how can I come and help you guys out because I what I saw you guys are doing you guys are learning programming basic HTML you were building games you were building I remember you were on uh, was it Unity uh, yeah it was on Unity uh, I was still at CAR in their game design class and I was building like a game in Star Wars <laughs> you don't happen to have that on you, do you? No. Okay, we'll save that for next time, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I remember looking at Faith and I'm like, wait, what are you building right now? I saw you were building a building, you were putting up walls, you were doing the designs for the walls. I'm like, how did you learn all that? I, I'm still confused and scratching my head how to do that. Uh, it was hard because I used Maya and Unity and you were just coding games from like scratch. So, you know, <laughs> difficult. Just trial and error, trial and error, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been over two years now and the room is just packed, it's loud. We were probably just two or three laptops, and now almost every table has a laptop. Yeah, we got a little Cosmos, new tablets, that's crazy. And here's the best part. What, once, uh, what was once a mentee is now a mentor, because I'm seeing you going around helping out. What's yeah, your favorite area to mentor? Uh, the Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. <laughs> 
I forgot to show you my mirror cube too. I don't know if you've heard of that one. It's, nah. it's exactly like the Rubik's Cube, but a little bit more challenging. I will bring it next time and we will talk about go and do that, right? There's the man himself, the man who created Learn Scene. Mr. David Thomas. Yeah. Mr. T is what we call him. You scared me. <laughs> Here's another original four. Do you remember? Yeah, we're live on Learn Steam. Broadcasting with I have my host Faith and you know me. Doing it big out here, you know. <laughs> Tell them Jersey's, about man. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back and allow you two to drive. Right. I want you guys to talk about what you guys have done here, what's your area of mentoring and your expertise, all right? Because you taught a class. Yeah. Let's go ahead and let them know what class you taught, all right? All right. And how you got into it, sir. All right? So I will be right back. Right. Have a seat, sir. All right, guys. Just... Welcome. <laughs> so you want to keep the mic about that far, right. okay? So you're going to hear yourself. Hey, man, watch, you... my, watch my computer. All right. So as you see at Learn Steam, I teach Mugen, and Mugen is a cool game. Like you can play anybody. Like let me see, Iron Man, Goku, mm, Scorpion, Sub Zero, uh, Inuyasha, Superman, um, Batman. Who else would you like? Um, Chris Tucker, um, Donald Trump, Obama. And that's everybody, man. Uh, that's what I teach down here. Have a good time, you know. Faith, you know, Faith teaches JavaScript and she teaches um, Ruby's cubes. Pretty, I'm not doing pretty nicely. Huh? I was actually in your class, remember? Oh yeah. Wow. Uh huh. Pretty good. An example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one, the movie, somebody created. Hey, I, I, I think I think I've seen this one before. It's a, this is a new one. It's called um, uh, Dragon Ball Heroes um, Edition. Uh, oh no, this is um. Dragon Ball 7, I think. Dragon Ball 7 Mugen Edition. This is exactly what you do, right? Mm -hmm. This is exactly what I do. Like, I make, um, put other characters together. This is an all-based um, Dragon Ball Z Mugen game. It's pretty nice. It has, like, all the new characters up to 216. As you guys know, there's a new show called Dragon Ball Super that um, adds new characters to it. Pretty good. It has the ex Xenoverse um, life bars, as you can see. But music, Mugen, you can put your own music, you can put your own characters, and your own life bars, and your own stages in at once, and create like it'll be a good gift for the family. Like if you're gonna give your mom something, you can put it. You can put a picture of your mom on the first game, and you can put a, your mom's head on a character and be like Goku mom or something like that. You can do that. But yeah, as we see fighting right now, we have Goku Black versus um, Vegeta. But you could do way more. Like there's, you can let me see what else you could do. You could do you could go a hard one probably. You never think of Yamcha versus um, Yamcha versus Bleach Ichigo. I had that on my channel. Go look me up Instagram Mugen dot Mugen dot World One. Have all the fights. You can request any fight, and I will do the fight every time. Do you draw any of your characters? Huh? Do you draw any of your characters? Do I draw? Yeah. Uh, well, I draw characters, right? And the characters I. How I came about finding it, it was pretty easy. I just looked on the internet, right? And I saw it. It was a big old screen of, um, how can you show it? Can you, like, how do you? Yeah, so, um, here's Chrome, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna click Chrome, mm -hmm. and then it'll show Chrome. We're gonna go back here, and they're gonna be able to see everything on Chrome right now. Do you wanna go to YouTube? Uh, no, Mugen, just type in Mugen. Okay, go ahead. What I did was I typed in, um, I typed in, like, something like Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, PC games, <laughs> 217, and you will see something like this pop up. You will see Mugen pop up. Like if you're new to this, you want to know what Mugen is, and you go to image and you see all these things right here, and you would think they're fake and stuff like that. But actually, these are real games right here that somebody made. Like, like it'll say discussions, but these are real games. 
I make these games, I make the characters in some of the games. What made you look it up though? What made me look it up? Because when you type, when you have a, um, when you like games, and when you like Dragon Ball Z so much, it's like, you wanna, like Dragon Ball Z has a lot of fan art, like AF, so it's like, I wanted to um, find it, I wanted to. Movie's pretty good, I teach it um, myself, I do a lot. See like that right there, this website right here. You never know if you're downloading a virus or not. Yeah, looked, it looked like a virus. It was sketchy. Yeah. That's why when I sell my movies, I make sure you're buying you're buying a um you're buying a game that I downloaded myself even though know, I know it could have been a risk. That's why I'm downloading it and I'm also putting the characters in carefully because if you do one thing you can mess up the whole game. It's crazy. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you guys. Go ahead and Board of Advisors out. All right. And up on next, we got two young guys. You can drop it. Great job. Great job. So we got we got our next young individuals who were drawing. You guys were the people that grew that drew the entrepreneur like a woman with short hair, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So. I want you to hold on to that mic. Uh -huh. I'm gonna keep it this distance from your mouth, okay? And what we're gonna do is, is you're gonna wear these headsets, mm -hmm. and you're gonna wear this mane on, okay? Go ahead, have a have a seat, young lady. Wait, what about my mic? All right. And what you guys should do is probably what's gonna happen is you're probably gonna hear. Can you hear yourself? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, introduce yourself, and tell us how you got here tonight. I'm Ashley. I'm Marlene. I'm Jade. Okay. And we found out about this program because my mom was going around Facebook. She was going like through Facebook and then she saw this and my mom told their mom so that's how they found out. That's Miriam. Alright, she's Miriam. Um, so what are you passionate about? I'm passionate about like drawing. I like basketball and yeah, I like editing stuff. Right, your turn. Um, I'm most passionate. I'm most passionate about sports, cars, um, and yeah. Um, I don't really know what I'm passionate about, but, um, I like cheer, and, um, I don't know, I like to draw. What have you ladies learned today so far? What have you guys learned today? What's one thing you guys going to take home with you? Um, tonight, uh, we learned that, like, uh, okay, we learned, um, we learned that anyone can be an entrepreneur and that, um, you just need to work hard to be an entrepreneur and don't give up. And being an entrepreneur is not always about, like, being like rich or anything, it's like it's like an investment and you have to like work hard to get there. Alright. We're done. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> classes are very entertaining. Hello. This is so awkward now. Okay. Um, I'm also passionate about food because you have to stay healthy. <laughs> I'll just take on it that's no more street.
And I'm passionate about my future. Yeah, we're done. We're done. All right, you guys do have anyone who plays anything else to talk about? What's, what, what's the big thing that young girls are doing now? Um, oh, yeah, I love to see. <laughs> Next time, we'll put on some music and we'll do some real karaoke. I'm down. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So, I used to be a music producer. I, well, I am still a music producer. And what you guys have right there is a microphone that I can record your voice through and I put over a song and then we can sing it. So, next time, I'm going to set it up to where we're going to record it. And then we're gonna play it back for everybody. All right. Okay. So All right. Okay. Next time we shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not gonna hold you ladies on too long. I want you guys to go back and have some fun. All right. You guys enjoying the pizza? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're gonna take another break. All right. Here we go again, and we'll be right back. Again, I'm back. <laughs> okay. You guys are shy. Your generation is not shy. My generation is more shy to go on the camera. You guys are. Shy. Okay. Bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, everybody. So our next guest right here, we have a young gentleman who loves making music. His name is Daniel. Me and Daniel were talking about making music last time. He came by. How's it going, Daniel? How you been? I'm doing good. All right. So, what's your favorite genre right now, music? Uh, Bay Area rap. Burial rap. All right. So, how'd you find that? Because real respect real. There you go. Okay. All right. So, my man Daniel likes to rap. He's gonna give us. You're gonna give us 16, 12, and 8? A 16. A 16? Alright. Okay. Uh, I guess you're gonna go a cappella with this acapella. background music, okay? Go uh, ahead. I'll let you hold on to that mic. And look directly in the camera and let me know. Uh, I said I'm shining like a necklace. Like the t shirt brand, call me young and reckless. I go fresh like your breath after you brush. Whack MCs like the orange soda get crushed. Like on some real stuff, I be on some real stuff. You know when the streets it get real tough. Street smart, school smart, business entrepreneur, fresh out the sewer. I thought you knew this. Peace up like a Buddhist. You know I do this. You know I'm the truest. Leave a dude clueless. I'm ruthless. <laughs> there you go, man. It's a 16 from man Daniel. Daniel, do you got a place where they can go and check out your music? Um, I have my old music, my old rap name. On SoundCloud, Young Brody, the California Zone EP, 
six songs, but I have a new rap name and go by Shorty Lopes. And my new stuff should come out soon. Just keep me in touch. Follow me at Facebook, Daniel Walker. And my profile picture shows me this on, flashing some money like this. So, and it has a model. My girl, she does modeling, and she has the cover. So, just add me on Facebook and hit me up. All right, that's Daniel, guys. And Daniel, how did you find Learn Steam? Um, I went to a foster home, and I told my foster mom uh, I wanted to do music entrepreneuring, and I was just happy to be lucky enough to, for her to have a Learn a Learn Steam book. And next thing you know, I'm seeing this guy sit in the corner, loaded up SoundCloud, and he says, "Man, I want to learn to make music." I got the acapellas, I've mixed this, and I want to do more. And we're here. Yeah. We're here. A lot of theory goes on into making music. There are three parts. The first part I call it pre-production. Pre-production is you have the idea of your song, right? You go and you create the vision, you paint the canvas, and you go, okay, I want to make, let's say, I want to make a hit. We're going to make a hit, all right? And then you're going to think about what elements you're going to need for a hit, right? You put, it th you put that in there, you think of the instruments, you think of the drums that you're going to use, you think of who you're going to have on there to represent the song, whether they be singing or rapping, right? Second thing, second phase is actually putting that work in and recording yourself in, starting to make that magic that you're talking about into a digital product now, you know? Then, what happens next is we go into the final phase, which is post-production. Post-production involves in mixing and mastering. Mixing is we take all the elements of each instrument, each drum, and each sound, and we try to put it all in one, two channels to come out really nice and clear, as you're aware. And then the last part is mastering mode, with how high how loud can we put it to where if we put it on any any speaker, it's gonna sound good. You know, any outcome that sounds good. And you're on your music journey, so what's next for you in your music journey? Uh, what, are you, what are you trying to learn right now? I'm just learning. I'm just getting more life experience so I can give out different knowledge in my music, street knowledge. Um, Life knowledge, business knowledge, uh, I'm trying to spread confidence, um, basically just communicating with confidence. That was the big term that you said tonight, communicating sure with confidence. All right, I'd like to thank you again, Make Daniel. Sure you You're going to come back next week, yep. next time? There we go. All right, and we are going to go back to Mr. T. How many words per minute you type? And the accuracy. Go back and see. You. You're gonna come to this page. I'll go back. When you come to this page, you see there's a there's a there, you're gonna join the Learn Steam class. It says default classroom. The one you're gonna pick is the one that says Teen Minority Mentorship. That way you're joining the correct Learn Steam class. And I'm gonna come around and make sure you guys are all signing up with your Gmail account. You're signing up with your Gmail account.
All right, we are getting ready to just close up tonight. If you guys live in Fresno, California and would like to come and join us, we meet every second and fourth Friday of the month on 700 Venice Avenue Suite 015. Uh oh, Divine, you're going to come close the show with me? All right, go ahead and put on the headphones. So, learn Steam again. Free mentorship in science, technology, engineering, entrepreneurship, arts, and math. <laughs> no, because they got you in the main screen with us, right? All right, Divine. So we're gonna close up shot. What? What do you want to say, everybody, before we go? What? What, what hap What's happening? 7:30, but I'm gonna close things up. Get everything ready. Help everyone out. I gotta go mentor too. Oh, hey guys. Um, but but uh, what we do mentorship next time? We're gonna probably. I think I'm. I think next time I, I might. I don't know. I, I might be going so to. So we're only live streaming once a month now. Yeah. Because there's only three of us that are going around mentoring. So next time, I'm gonna show everybody how to record a song. Yeah. Yeah, on. let's yeah, we should do a song. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna create a learn theme song. Where we'll record everybody. Yeah, it will be me in it. Yeah. Be, like in a song? Yeah, of course. So when with that, that? being saying, we have to say goodbye to everybody and oh, yeah. thanks for everyone tuning in. Yes, tuning in guys. Thanks for tuning in for this. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are here for today and doing this for me. And everyone step chat. Snapchat. Yeah. And I feel awesome. Snapchat. Go Username, to bed. Divine Butler. Right? Yeah. Snapchat. Divine Butler. Snapchat. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, guys. Have a fantastic week and a great summer. We'll see yeah. you guys soon. All right. See you guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye.